open surgery, 80% urinary problems after robotic surgery was actually 86.6%. So I know robotic surgery is advertised as being better, but in fact the data shows worse sexual function, worse urinary problems. With us, urinary lack of control almost never exists. Maybe 1% compared to here, 80%. And sexual problems, 90%, 97% with open and 97% with robotic compared to with us. Most men keep their sexual function. So it's a big difference. We believe men want to have the highest chance of being cancer-free. We believe most men want to avoid radical surgery. We believe most men want to control their urine and control their sex life. So... For this man, the data is clear, and we offered all the options from one treatment in 45 minutes to a series of treatments, and with all the data, they're all very appealing, especially compared to radical surgery. <clears throat> our data has been accumulated over 20 years, and we keep on updating our data. Uh, data is important, and data means that we're serious about care for you. So if you have questions about prostate cancer, give us a call. If you have questions about acoustic neuromas, ditto. This man encompassed possibly both with decreased hearing and with a biopsy-proven prostate cancer. And a vital man, married, loving wife, who wants to remain intact, who wants to be cured, who wants to avoid radical surgery, who wants to keep his sexual life and his urinary life intact. This is Dr. Lederman from Radio Surgery New York. We're a cancer treatment center. We're devoted to cancer treatment. We're a private center, which means we work for you, not the drug companies. We work for you. We take most insurances, Medicare, Medicaid. We have several voices that want to speak to you, and then we'll be right back with more questions, answers, news, and patients. Here we go. For cancer treatment, most prefer effective, non-invasive, well-tolerated outpatient therapy. With Dr. Lederman, the radiosurgery pioneer, that's our goal, too. He's first in America, first in New York, first for you with body radiosurgery. We hit your cancer with no cutting, no bleeding. Dr. Lederman has decades of experience with primary and metastatic large or small cancers from head to toe. Cancer treatment with possibly a second chance for you, even if chemo, radiation, or surgery didn't work or isn't tolerated. Our goals are best results and quality of life. Meet Dr. Lederman to hit the cancer. For a free booklet DVD called 212 Choices, 212 Choices for a fresh second opinion. Most insurances, Medicare, Medicaid, accepted. Not only super convenient, super. Broadway and 38th in Manhattan. To hit your cancer, see Dr. Lederman, 212 Choices. With Dr. Lederman, the best prostate cancer treatment is custom-tailored for you. Each man with prostate cancer is unique and seeks the best results based upon PSA, Gleason score, and stage. That's why Dr. Lederman's custom-tailored prostate cancer treatment is most logical. Not every man should get the same treatment. Dr. Lederman's custom prostate cancer treatment is all outpatient. Our goals are your best results, avoiding radical surgery, maintaining your sexual and urinary function, and your life. Most insurances, Medicare, Medicaid accepted. Call Dr. Lederman at 212 Choices, 212 Choices, for a fresh second opinion and free booklet DVD. Not only super convenient, super in Manhattan, 38th and Broadway. To hit the cancer, call Dr. Lederman. 212 Choices. Cherish your life. Custom prostate cancer treatment with Dr. Lederman. 212 Choices. Welcome back to the Radio Surgery Hour. This is Rob Redstone here with Dr. Gil Lederman at the WOR Studios in the heart of New York City. We're just a few steps from the Radio Surgery New York Cancer Treatment Center on Broadway and 38th Street. Dr. Lederman, the leading cancer expert, treats prostate cancer non-invasively. He was the first in New York with fractionated brain radiosurgery, and he's the first in America and in the Western Hemisphere with body radiosurgery. You can also call Dr. Lederman at 212 Choices for a free informative booklet and DVD. Hey, Dr. Lederman, we're back. 
We're back, and we're back with a news article, actually a scientific publication about basically how to live longer if you have stage 4 metastatic lung cancer. Now, a lot of people call me and say, Dr. Lederman, I have stage 4 cancer. Do you treat it? Why should I treat it? I don't know. My doctor said I'm going to die. Well, yes and no. There's a new article, and this came out of the ASTRO meeting, which we spoke about last week. ASTRO is the largest cancer treatment meeting in the world, cancer radiation meeting. Actually, Dr. Ariel Lederman presented, uh, had two publications presented at the ASTRO meeting, including our data. There was a large international study of patients with stage 4 lung cancer, non-small cell, and they found that overall survival can be long, up to average survival 47% at five years. This is data from Astro, the 56th annual meeting that was held in San Francisco. And when lung cancer spreads from one site to another site, it's called metastatic or stage four cancer if it's distant sites. And the goal of treatment is to slow down the treatment is to slow down the cancer with the treatment using chemo or radiation. But usually the survival is only a few months. But there's patients who have oligometastasis, meaning a few sites of metastasis, and studies have shown that if you're aggressive in treating these oligometastasis, patients can live longer. We see this every day. You can treat with surgery, of course, which is cutting and bleeding, or you can have radio surgery. Radio surgery is a misnomer. Radio surgery really is, one of my patients likes to say it's radio zapping because there is no surgery. Radio surgery is there's no cutting, no bleeding, no anesthesia. You come in, get a treatment, 15 minutes later you go, and our success rate for lung cancer, where we aim the beam, is about 90% for the rest of the life of the patient. So researchers performed a meta-analysis of 757 stage 4 non-small cell lung cancer patients from 20 hospitals who had between 1 and 5 metastases that were aggressively treated, either with surgery or radiosurgery, radiation, and they had aggressive treatment of their primary tumor also. And the goal was to see if you could have long-term survivors after aggressive therapy. Because obviously, patients that come to us are coming because they want their cancer controlled, they want the pain controlled, they want the bleeding stopped, and they want to live longer. And actually, there's different factors in patients who live longer. Now, some people have cancer and the metastases appear at the same time. This is called synchronous. Now, some metastasis or spread of the cancer occurs after the original cancer, metachronous. So synchronous is when the cancer appears at the same time. Metachronous is when it comes sequentially. And then they broke it out into lymph nodes in the chest or not, and adenocarcinoma or not. And there's a whole group of low-risk patients, those with metachronous, Metast metastasis, and they actually had a five-year survival of 47%. Well, wow. Here you are, stage four lung cancer with hundreds of patients analyzed with an average survival of about five years. Now, I know that's probably not what you're being told if you have a stage four cancer, that you can have a long, long survival but yes, here's the data. And so we've been talking about week after week that there's reason to be treated, to be aggressively treated. Radio surgery is aggressive, but it's well tolerated. It's without cutting, without bleeding. And so here's the data for stage four lung cancers, metachronous metastasis, treated in multiple spots and have a documented 47% five-year cancer-free survival. Even in other patients who are aggressively treated, much longer survival than you'd anticipate. The intermediate risk patients with synchronous metastasis 
and no lymph nodes in the chest, had a five-year survival of 36%. Wow. So if you have lung cancer or other stage four cancers, you may want to give us a call because there may be more, not only hope, but actual data for successful treatment. So we're not only talking about hope, hope is great, but actually data and life mixed with hope is even better. So if you have a question about stage four cancer, give us a call or lung cancer. Our phone number is 212-CHOICES, 212-CHOICES. Many people want to know what that number is. It's 212-246-4237, 212-246-4237. We're located at 1384 Broadway, the corner of Broadway and 38th Street. You probably know that area. It's right between Macy's and Times Square on Broadway. We're on the south east corner of Broadway and 38th Street. We're not only super convenient, but I think we're pretty super. You can speak to the doctor. No machines. We try to do the right thing. Here's a patient who came to us. He actually just finished up treatment this week. He has stage 4 melanoma. Melanoma is a kind of skin cancer, one of the ones that's considered the big killer. Now, this man is interesting because he had a melanoma on his face. And then for unknown reasons, he got a chest x-ray. He's actually getting another surgery for something else. And no one followed him for his melanoma. We have a call. Let's see what this caller is. Hello, you're on the radio. It's Dr. Lederman. I guess he was testing the phone number. Uh, The phone number again is 212-246-4237. He had melanoma. It spread to the chest. It was a big mass five years ago. He went to a big cancer hospital, and he started getting chemotherapy for five years. Someone else is calling again. Let's see who this is. Good morning. It's Dr. Lederman. Another hang-up. I think they're just checking the phone number. Again, it's 212-246-4237. If you have questions, please call the radio station at 800-321-0710. Bob and Ed will pick up 800-321-0710 if you want to speak. Anyway, for five years, he was getting chemo, 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 <clears throat> and no one ever gave him the pictures. No one ever gave him the reports. He was told everything's okay for five years, if you can believe that. He came to us, and by the time he came to us, his cancer was one liter in size. Yeah. 13 centimeters across. <clears throat> it kept growing, 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 growing. No one ever gave him the reports. He came to us. He came to us because a good friend of his is his urologist. And his urologist says, you might want to see Dr. Lederman. You might have a different approach. And actually, our data for melanoma shows a control rate of about 90% for small or large cancers. This man's interesting because he has stage 4 cancer, but it's only in one spot. So to me, he has an excellent chance. His function is perfect. If you saw him walking down the street, you would say, wow, this handsome man, strong man, big man, doesn't look like a cancer patient, and he doesn't. Well, he just had his fifth treatment, came in every Thursday at about 8 o'clock, had a treatment, and then... Went and saw his friend, the doctor, and then had lunch, and then went back home. Came in by the Long Island Railroad, which is only a couple of minutes from us, the Penn Station. So now, what do we do next? He had his five treatments. He's going to have a new scan in a month, and we'll report back to you what has happened to his cancer after five radio surgeries. Most likely, it's going to be controlled. <coughs> but we don't deal with most likely. We deal with the exact fact, and he'll again have the paper in his hand. We're going to stop for just a moment for a station identification. This is Dr. Lederman talking about cancer treatment from Radio Surgery New York and WOR. If you have questions, please call us, 800-321-0710. Thank you. With Dr. Lederman, the best prostate cancer treatment is custom-tailored for you. 
Each man with prostate cancer is unique and seeks the best results based upon PSA 